Hi, I'm Peter Sanigan from Sanigan's Meat Locker. Today we're going to be taking apart a beef tenderloin, trimming it all down. We're going to make a couple steaks out of it and a nice roast. Just show you what you can do if you actually buy the whole muscle as opposed to buying little steaks. You can save a little bit of money if you go to a butcher shop, get the whole piece, do it at home yourself, easy peasy. So this is the tenderloin. It's the most tender muscle in the whole uh, animal. This is from an Angus cow. Uh, you see a little bit of uh, yellowness in the fat there. That's from its diet. It gets uh, on top of the grass and everything. It'll get a little bit of corn, a little bit of grain. That comes through in the fat coverage. You see this fat and this uh, what's called silver skin lying on top of the muscle. That has to be removed before we start making our steaks. Um, that's actually inedible. It's too tough to eat. So to get that out, just take your knife underneath each little bit of silver skin. Just like you're stripping it right off there, just like a layer of, of paint. Just use your knife there, nice clean slow strokes and you'll take that stuff right off. Then you're gonna see this muscle here that's on the side of the tenderloin, that's what's called the chain. Some people like to leave it on depending on how much sinew is in there. We're just gonna take it off just to ensure a nice clean eating tenderloin steak. So that pulls right off. But this piece here is really great for, um, you can cut it up. It has a little bit of toughness to it, more so than, than the steaks because of that little bit of uh, silver skin in there. But you can make a really nice stew out of this little piece. It's excellent to eat. Now I'm gonna cut from the top end, the fatter end, a nice, what's called a Chateaubriand roast. Um, that's a really nice roast for a Nice family, if you will, family of three or four. So you get that nice marbling in there. Uh, nice little bit of fat. Just tie up this little roast. You have that nice little roast there. Alternately, you can use the tenderloin and make steaks out of it, make, make nice uh, medallions out of that. So taking your nice slicer, I like to cut them about maybe about an inch thick. And just tie this up again to keep it nice and together and ensures even cooking. There you are. Two methods of making the uh, beef tenderloin roast.